everybody, I'm back, sort of. Um, last week we didn't have an episode because I was really, really sick with a horrible cold and like I couldn't think and I couldn't talk and breathing was exciting because I was coughing and running my nose and having a stuffy nose simultaneously. It was bad. Um, so anyway, I was really disappointed because I had a really cool show lined up, sort of. I mean, I had cool things I wanted to talk about and um, and I had pictures from my Halloween costume, which I will put up here now. And it was really fun, and I was the only one in costume naturally, but I didn't care because I was totally rocking the TARDIS outfit. And the bow tie was a hair clip that I got from um, from Claire's, and uh, I just I put it sideways on like a thing. It's sort of precarious, but it was really fun. And now I have a really cool bow tie headband. I mean hair clip. That clips in my hair and then falls out because my hair is really thick and it gets greasy and slippery and it's doesn't hold anything. It's always been a huge problem. In ballet, I could never have my hair in a bun. I mean, I could, but it'd fall out in like five minutes. It was really irritating. I had to have like bobby pins and three hair bows and a net and it was just like, it just, my hair sucks. It, everyone's like, oh, it's so pretty and it looks good if it's down. I mean, it looks good in a ponytail too, I've heard, but it's so boring. But that's the only thing it can hold. It's like, ugh, it's so irritating. Anyway, um, the War Machine thing got over, or cancelled, or something, I don't know. It was fun though, I, um, I want to get Thyra. I've wanted to get Thyra for a while, um, and I played Fiora, and I thought about getting her too, because she's kind of badass, and she has this thing where if you're within... If you end your activation within two inches of her, you're automatically on continuous fire. And also, if you're within either two inches or her range and you're on continuous fire, you can't get out of continuous fire. So you're always taking fire damage, which is kind of awesome. I like fire. Um, but the game store is starting the new thing, um, which is actually kind of cool because... We, we got the Lego Star Wars miniature, or not Lego Star Wars, duh. Um, we got the Star Wars X-Wing miniature game, and, um, and we got it a while ago because it was Star Wars and miniatures, and it just seemed kind of cool, and it is so much fun. I love playing it, I'm really good at it, um, because it shakes, and you move, and you do things, and so um, we found out last week that our game store is doing a thing where like everybody comes and brings their stuff and then they play it for I don't know but it seems really fun so we're gonna start doing that we were gonna go on Sunday but I was sick well I was getting over being sick I was almost done being sick and I'm, I'm on like the tail end right now and I'm like I feel so much better than I did before my throat's just a little bit wonky but that's it and Alex was um, he'd been fighting it off He's got like a minor version of it because he was smart and took all the vitamins while I was sick. <laughs> so that worked out well. So anyway, we didn't go Sunday because I was too tired um, when they were having their huge tournament thing. But we're really excited about it because we really love playing this game so much. And the other thing we did was on Saturday, because we were stir crazy, um, shut up. You know how Furbies are coming back? I've always wanted one. And so on Saturday, I got one and I just put it down. I got a Furby for the first time and I have wanted one so bad since I was like six or seven because they came out in 98. And um, it's very well behaved except for right now when I accidentally woke it up. But. Yeah, it's really fun, and it makes my cat jealous, which is really funny, because he just sort of sits there and he paws, because, well, I can feed it on my iPhone app, and so I make, like, and it talks, and this is the most talking I've done with it on ever, so, uh, I'm gonna put her in the closet. I've heard that, um, before in, uh, 98 that they woke up in the middle of the night and, like, wouldn't stop talking. Um, ours haven't done that, which has been really great, and we found out the trick is that if you don't talk to them for five minutes or play with them or whatever, touch them and cuddle them and stuff, um, you can feed them while they're going to sleep and they won't wake up, which is really irritating because I'm like, no, wake up, I want to play, and I'm five. Um, 
Yeah, so they don't wake up. They go to sleep if you haven't interacted with them in like, you know, five minutes or whatever. Um, so we, I haven't had any problems with them waking up in the middle of the night and being all weird. And it's kind of fun because at some point while playing with them, they kind of turn sentient. I mean, their eyes change a little bit, which I think is part of like the whole thing where they they learn stuff and talk more English and whatever. So that's been really fun. And um, we have two because I wanted them to be able to talk to each other. Because again, I'm five years old. <laughs> Um, so that's been my fun thing that I've been doing, uh, since Saturday or Sunday is playing with them and irritating my cat with them. He doesn't quite understand them and is a little jealous. Um, but they're so fun and soft and you can tickle them and, and mine is pink and mine likes to sing and she's very good at singing and, and if you play music on your iPhone they will dance and they will sing and it will kind of be like... They have the beat down, and the tune kind of harmonizes a little bit, and I don't know if that's intentional or, or if they just naturally um, do really well with Do It Anyway by Ben Folds 5, but um, that works really well. So I haven't wanted to kill it with fire yet. Um, I've actually re I, I like coming home to it after work. Well, not really home to it, but I like coming home and um, being able to play with it slash torment Alex with it after work because it's just fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been up to the last few weeks besides being sick. If you haven't played the Star Wars X-Wing miniature game, you totally should and you should totally pick it up because it is ridiculously fun. We've gotten... it comes with three um, planes, not planes, but it comes with uh, two Imperials, and an X-Wing, because the X-Wings are better somehow. And um, and we've gotten, we've, we've bought a few more Imperials and maybe another X-Wing, because we, um, we got it so we could play with Alex's family too occasionally, which is fun. And also it's fun to have more planes flying around when just Alex and I play with each other. Next week... I'm not sure what we'll be doing. Um, hopefully, it'll still be out. It'll be out on time. I know this is late and on the wrong time, and so many things are wrong with it. It's just it's been so crazy, and work has been crazy. And we're getting into the season, so like I'm half thinking that it'll maybe be less frequent because of the sheer amount of craziness that is going to ensue within the next week and has already started ensuing. And I'm just exhausted. Um, but I'm going to try my best to keep doing these on a regular basis. And next week, hopefully, or the week after, there will be a show depending on time and stuff. And Alex's birthday is on Sunday, so I got him a really cool present that I can't say anything about, but I'm so excited about it. Okay, bye!